y'all i'm getting ready to move the van look at this car look at the orange car little truck i like that i like old antique vehicles y'all Y'all, I just checked my oil. And I am bone. I'm bone dry, y'all. I am. I just stuck this thing in my oil. And that's how it look. It's bone dry, y'all. O-M-G. Let me see if I got some Y'all, I don't know what's going on with my oil. Why? Hold on. Let me see if I got some oil with me. If not, we gonna have to go get us a whole, a whole thing of oil. Cause I ain't got no oil. In here i'm surprised this thing's still running whoo child this is a good motor y'all We got some oil, a little. We're gonna see how much this put up in here. We got a little oil, so now I need to find me a funnel. Oh Lord, I can't believe, I can't believe y'all. We is completely out of oil. Rusty, crusty, and dusty. up knocking and I'm like what is that North knocking noise maybe that was my motor knocking and saying girl Ooh. I put you in there at once maybe that was my motor saying girl Thirsty, hungry. Y'all, it take about five quarts of oil to fill it up. So this thing is not five quarts, so it's not full. It is five quarts, but it's not full. It take about five quarts or more to fill. Wiping all that oil that wasted out. So this not full, so I don't have to worry about putting too much. Cause this all the way on E, y'all. 
it is on E. Channel all. Can your old thing be on E? Yep, it's on E. It's empty. <laughs> it's empty. Jesus. I'm talking about all the way empty, too. Ain't got no lubrication. Father God. And my thing's not my indicators. Not working because the show didn't tell me I'm going to eat. still gonna have to go buy me some more oil. I always need to keep some oil with you. And I ain't got no oil leak. It must just be. I don't know what's going on. When we got that oil change. Y'all, after you get an oil change, Make sure you check your oil a couple of days or a couple of weeks later because they all got the run through. After it run through and go through every part of the motor, you still might need some more oil. My goodness. Let's hope that fix. Am I knocking? Let me get some more paper. Some more tissue so I could check it. I was completely out of order. I can't believe that. At least now. Ooh, I thought that was my phone. At least now I know I got some oil in here. Okay, it's registering right here. The max is right here. So it could use a little bit more, but it's registering right there. So it got some in there. I am going to, I like to go ahead and buy the five quarts of oil. Or to me, this is just a gallon. Uh, I get the high mileage SAE 1040, I mean 10W30 synthetic blend motor oil. That's what I get. I think this is about 17, 18, or 20. I don't know. So we got to get this from Walmart. I'm going to go to Walmart in a little bit. Let me clean my funnel and put that up. Put my all cap back on. Father God, thank you for letting me hear my noise of my car. I want to be able to check this before the noise start making, but at least listen to the different sounds. You got to know your vehicle, y'all. So let me. Let me do the walk of shame. I'm shame.
walk of shame, doing the walk of shame, doing the walk of shame. Get my tools out. I got a couple of projects. I need to screw my vent. I need to screw my vent thing in. And I need to put a hole in my flower pot. So, let me see. I think the vent thing will be the easiest thing to start with since I already got the bit in there. So, let's start. With okay, that. I put the roof vent up, but I never did screw the four screws in to hold it. And I got this wire showing right now. I haven't hooked it up yet. I don't know if I want that wire to show right now. So I'm gonna tuck that wire away. And we're gonna screw this up here. We could always take it down. Anytime we need to. Y'all, since I've been having the roof vent up, it's less hot up in here. Before I put the roof vent up, I was sweat at night while I'm sleeping, which I don't mind sweating at night but uh I was sweating at night when I was sleeping but now I sleep comfortably and it don't really be a breeze right now but on days when it's a breeze y'all I'm sure that's gonna feel good so the screws that come with the max air fan with the white on it it's four of them. That's what these are for. They are for this, right? There. I ain't really got nothing to screw into up there except for this. Plywood and some foam, the foam board. This it. That went straight through. That's like it's not even up there. That screw probably gonna end up falling out. And when I put it up here, I must have touched the marker on that. So I need to clean that up. And if I want to pop it out, just grab that and pop it out. That was a quick little DIY. Next up, I want to put some screw, uh, want to drill a hole. Hold on, y'all. My mind is thinking about something else right now. This toothpaste up here, I want to put this toothpaste away. Uh, let me put that in my bag. Put that over there. So, I'm trying to do all these little DIY projects because this little stuff that's not done is what actually be in my way keep things looking junky keep things not being organized so i'm trying to get my van to the point where everything is situated and organized so that i can 
let a couple of people look at look at my van and show my van to my friends and let them walk in and tell me what they think about the van. So that's what I'm going to do soon. I want my friends to do, I want to do a first impression of my friends checking out the inside of my van. So let me show y'all what I'm about to do right now at this moment. So I have this little thing that's up here for my water and I had my little plants up here but they end up falling off and breaking. So I got this idea to put a flower pot right here, conceal that up inside of there and then I could put a little plant or something over the top or I could drop my keys up in there when I first come in the van so I won't be having to look for my keys. Uh, oh, I didn't hear y'all where y'all could see. So what I'm gonna do is take this, hide it up in there. I could put a plant on top of here or I could drop my keys up in there and just put a plant on top of there and conceal it. But I have to make this hole bigger in order for this thing to go through. So. I'm going to drill a hole in here and hopefully I won't break the flower pot. So, let's so see. the first thing you want to do is take some water, put some water on here and I'm going to pick a drill bit, I think. I don't know if I'm going to use a regular this hole, let me see, that goes through there so that's already, so let's see this, is that going to be big enough? Yeah, that's a little bigger than what it is, but I'm gonna go with the biggest one and see if that works. If not, we got that diamond head thing that'll put an even bigger hole in it and it's made for glass and pottery. So hopefully this won't break the pot. If it does, this pot cost two dollars or something, so I'm not too much worried about that. And while you're drilling the hole, you can pour a little water on it. get rid of that little piece if I can. Okay, that makes it even. And the water makes it easier to drill the hole in there. And it won't make it like, hopefully it'll keep it from cracking. Hopefully it'll keep it from cracking. And 
We did that. We did it. We did it. We didn't make too much of a miss. And we didn't waste our $2 investment. And I didn't go buy a special drill bit. This is how it looks in the inside, but that don't matter to me. Uh, I didn't I didn't buy a special drill bit. I just used the one that came in this. And as you see, it worked just fine. So I'm gonna take a wet wipe. Wipe this off really good. Pristine, make it look like new. Nobody don't have to know. It's chipped in the inside. Okay, I'm gonna clean my cabinet off. Clean my cabinet off. Now we know the hole is big enough and all I'm gonna do is take this thing off. Stick this through here. Mm -hmm. Stick that through there. Put that back on there. I can glue this down if I want to glue this down where it can't move I could glue it down which I probably will eventually do I could glue it down I could drop my keys in there anything else that I want to hide there and I got this little plant thing the flower pot to it broke so I could just put that right there and camouflage it and people are gonna think that is a flower pot and they don't know that it's my thing from the water yes and I'm probably gonna glue this down put some silicone on it and glue it down I think got some silicone handy somewhere we just need to find it so I got that out the way thank you Jesus but I need to glue that down um, it's feeling cool like it's gonna rain y'all I don't mind if it rained today I know I got some little uh, velcro things These might work. These might work for now, for today. Y'all, the little projects, I feel like the little projects make the biggest difference because they just in your way, they like nagging you. Like just nag at you. They like just nag at you and nag at you until you get it done. And they make the most difference to me because even though they little things, the little details is what people notice like you can have a beautiful van and then when people walk in it they see this little thing sticking out they see that little thing sticking out that's what they notice so i got this e6000 tube let's hope this works to stick this to the bottom 
So what I'm gonna do is put this on the bottom of this flower pot. Oops. And I'm gonna use this hole to, I'm gonna go around the outer edge of it. I'm gonna use the whole tube, y'all. I find that once you open stuff like this, if you let it sit, when you come back to use it, it's gonna be all dried out. So that's why I bought the little bitty tubes for the little bitty jobs. Press down on it, and I'm gonna let that dry, even though some is squishing out. Listen. Push on it and let it dry. I'm going to pull that over on my hole. I want my hole to still be able to. I should have lined it up with the hole before I pushed it down the first time, but that's okay. And I'm going to take some of my wet wipes and get some of the excess from around this other place where I just moved it from. I just moved it. So I left the Blue on the countertop from where I moved it from. This is just something little that I had to do, y'all, but it's a big thing to me because you know, when people come in my van and look at my van, I don't want them to see that thing on the top, I don't want them to figure out where the water is coming from. I want it to be a surprise. So, hopefully that was enough glue to hold that down. And I think, I think that's the last little project in the inside that I needed my 
drill for. I think that's the last project. So I got some little snacks and stuff that I want to put in the back. I think I want to put them in the back. So let me see if I have room for those snacks in the back. I got my lunch basket with me, y'all. Let's go to the back. I'm sweating. Sweat is good for you. Y'all, uh, something else I need to do is uh, clean out the cooler. I hadn't been able to get to the cooler because that box was over there and everything was just in my way. So now I pretty much got everything out of the van. I just went to the trash and forgot to throw this away. Uh, I'm gonna go empty this because I don't want to make a mess. But so I had put some ice in the cooler like a week or two ago. I got eggs and stuff in there. I know that stuff is spoiled now and it's no good. So I'm gonna clean my cooler out again. And today is the fourth. So after I clean the cooler out, then I'm gonna put my water dispenser thing on top of my gallon jug and then maybe we'll go to the store and get some ice and something to eat and cook y'all i don't know but let's get this party started <laughs> let's get the party started y'all i think what i'm gonna do is i think i'm going to move my crates not the way that i'm gonna put them up here out of my way for the time being just for a little minute so I need to put these in the back
I know I'm gonna have some stuff I need to throw away and I'm about to go to the dumpster. So let me just put the stuff I'm gonna throw away. I'm gonna go throw this stuff away. And then I had that and get that. At that business, had threw some stuff away in the dumpster. I wanted to go look, but I was like, let me get him a little while. So a truck just passed by and looked in there. He probably took everything. But I just wanna go look. Cause sometimes what other people want, it's not what you want. So it might be something in there that I might want. So, let me go look. I heard them breaking up stuff, or seen them breaking up stuff as they was putting it in. Sound like it was some metal and stuff. I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to look. I'm just being nosy. Y'all know I don't really need nothing. Sometimes you find stuff that you didn't know you needed. So, let's go. Okay, whatever metal they threw away, he pretty much got it. Uh, that right there, the wood, that matches my stuff that I got in the van. I don't know if I need that or want that, but I'll come back and check that out later. If I need that piece of wood or any of those pieces of wood that match what I got already. I just want to look and be nosy. Nosy Rosie. It's another one over here. The lady just had dumped something over here a minute ago. But they normally don't throw nothing away good. And this one right here. So. But I'm just looking to be nosy. Let's just be nosy. Nosy Rosie. some hangers nothing but some hangers nothing much empty boxes let's go back to work from this thing because of that cucumber that was in there the water stinks today so let me clean this out we don't have to a little bit of time. It's the biggest thing I got today. To scoop the water out.
So you guys, I finished cleaning out, well, getting all the water out of the cooler. Now I'm gonna take some Clorox and put some Clorox up in here and spray it down with a little dish soap and let it sit for a little minute while I sweep up the rest of the van and possibly mop the floor in here. So I'll just let that sit and marinate. And I got some more stuff down here that I need to go throw away some oatmeal and some chicken salad that I had made that I never did eat. So hopefully by doing this, you guys, I'll be able to get back on my routine of cooking and eating every day because I haven't been doing it. I've been saying it for a long time, but we, we here, we, Houston, we here. <laughs> Just got through sweeping this floor. That car that usually drive over here and play music it was playing music, so I couldn't record it. But now I'm about to mop the floor and. let it dry out one of my water container things need to be cleaned out so I'm gonna clean that out too and I'm still letting my cooler soak and after that I'm gonna situate some things I got a couple of ideas I'm gonna situate some things and then I'm gonna um, 